construction of the Greenstone Gold Mine has passed the halfway mark. Company officials say they're still on budget and on schedule and planning for the first gold pour in 2024. Jonathan Wilson reports. Significant progress has been made over the past year regarding the construction of the Greenstone Gold Mine. Deputy Project Manager Christine Petch explains that the permanent effluent water treatment plant is now up and running, already processing water from the site before discharging it into Conogamesis Lake. The massive leach tanks have been built, the west end of the mill building is now enclosed with work ongoing on the east end, and the truck shop and administration buildings are nearly complete. The next big milestones for the project really uh, involve around getting the buildings closed and starting to move and start working with our mechanical, electrical and piping inside of the buildings. So previously, like over the last year, we've focused mostly on earthworks and civil and getting the foundation and starting to get the steel up for the buildings. So really, this is a huge transition for us now to start working inside and start getting the equipment installed and mounted. As the construction phase is moving along, so is hiring. In addition to roughly 650 contractors working construction, the mine also has approximately 160 full-time employees. Petch says just over 40% of the mine's current employees are local, and they're looking to hire nearly 300 more people as they ramp up towards production. So right now the operations, uh, they're at about a third of what they're going to be at full capacity started by 2025. So there's a big hiring spree that's going on right now. For Greenstone Mayor James McPherson, the progress on the mine is very exciting. I'm almost a year into the actual construction phase and we've worked with the mine throughout the project. It is massive. McPherson anticipates a sharp increase in local hiring as the project advances towards operation. In another year, they'll be up to around four or 500 employees, of which we hope through the region, through the First Nations, through the different wards of Greenstone, we're able to attract people to come and stay in the region. Regardless of the weather, construction will continue through the winter with hires for operations increasing over the next year and expected to reach full capacity in 2024. Jonathan Wilson, TBT News.